Hello, teachers, administrators, and district coordinators. My name is Mary McCurley, and I am the National Content Specialist with Goodhart Wilcox. In this presentation, I'll provide you a brief overview of Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology, and will show you how to navigate the online platform. This comprehensive text welcomes today's learners to the diverse and exciting world of anatomy and physiology. Written for high school students by leaders in the health field, Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology covers all body systems using a student-friendly writing style that makes complex subjects easier to understand. The text also uses expertly illustrated and detailed artwork that brings the subject matter to life. Correlated to the medical anatomy and physiology, precision exam standards, and career skill exams, students will have the opportunity to earn a career skill certificate in medical anatomy and physiology. Chapters are organized by the different body systems. Chapter information is divided into lessons, providing content in a more manageable format for students. Each chapter opens with visually stunning images to engage young readers. A short passage will pique students' interest and help them connect learning to their lives. Each lesson opens with before you read questions, along with learning objectives and key terms. Our text is broken down into smaller paragraphs to increase student comprehension and decrease reader fatigue. Check your understanding questions will help to increase retention. Within the lessons, images support learning and help engage visual learners. Also, throughout the text, there are caption questions that help students connect the text to anatomically exact drawings, while encourage active reading and critical thinking skills. In addition, the illustrations are closely paired with the text to promote understanding and retention. Topics are presented in a variety of formats, including photos, tables, drawings, tips, and reviews to accommodate different learning styles and ability levels. One of the many exciting features is the memory tip call-out boxes that are interwoven throughout the text. These special tips help students better comprehend challenging vocabulary discussed in the chapter. Through the Career Corner features, students learn more about different healthcare careers. Additional engaging features include what research tells us, lifespan development, and clinical case study. Each of these features challenge students to read with purpose by providing assessment and extension questions. One of the outstanding features of this text is the chapter review material. There are pages of activities and exercises at the end of every chapter. The first spread includes a chapter summary and key terms covered in each lesson. Chapter assessment are broken down by lesson, so there is a wide range of questions and activities at the end of each lesson. The chapter review material ends with building skills and connecting concepts, which includes analyzing and evaluating data, communicating about anatomy and physiology, lab investigations, and building your portfolio. Notice the activity icon next to key terms. You will see these icons throughout the print and digital textbooks. By clicking on the activity icon, it will take the students to the companion website to practice, assess, and reinforce learning. These vocabulary activities are some of the many interactive activities available on the companion website, which is free for all students. Other tools on the companion website include spelling challenge, identification activities, animations, and lesson and chapter review questions. The student workbook and lab manual provide opportunities for students to review, assess, and extend learning and hands-on practice. These pages can be printed or students can complete them digitally. Teachers, you will also have access to our extensive instructor resources to help you plan and facilitate your course. All instructional materials are found on a convenient online bookshelf and accessible at home, 
at school, or on the go. Support materials include detailed lesson plans, ready to use editable PowerPoint presentations, handouts. Teachers can also create customized chapter tests using the ExamView software. Lastly, teachers will have access to textbook, student workbook, and instructor resources answer keys to make grading easier. These are the instructional resources for teachers in the online instructor resources. Teachers will have access to the student textbook, the companion website, student workbook and lab manual, instructor's edition, and the online instructor resources. The student online platform will be very similar, but will not include the instructor's edition or instructor resources. For those schools who choose to integrate with a learning management system, your online platform will appear differently than what you see on the screen, but the resources will be the same. Now, let's take a look at the online platform. This is the online instructor resource suite for introduction to anatomy and physiology. Click on it and you will see the resources that are available. I'll show you how to navigate each of these resources. Let's start with the student textbook. The textbook is divided by chapters. I'll click on chapter one, Foundations of Human Anatomy and Physiology. On the left-hand side, you'll see a toolbar. The plus allows you to zoom in and see the page closer. Minus, zoom out. The third button down, or the contents button, allows you to go to another chapter of the book. Click again to close. The fourth button down, or the resource tab, allows you to go directly to the companion website. Remember, the companion website will house the interactive tools from within the pages of the book. Click again to close. The last button allows you to print pages of the textbook. This could be extremely helpful if you do have a student with an IEP or 504 who needs a hard copy of the text to write on. There's arrows on the left and the right that allow you to go to the next page of the book. We are on page three, so page three of the digital text will match page three of the hard copy of the text. You can jump to another page of the book by typing in the page number and clicking. You can also search our book by a key term and it will take you to all the pages of the book that mention that key term and the key term will be highlighted. I'll go to the next page of the book. I do wanna point out that throughout the pages of the book, you'll see this activity icon. By hovering over it, a blue rectangle or square will appear indicating to students that if I click on it, I'll go directly to the activities on the companion website. This was a brief overview on how to navigate the student textbook. I'll click the My Bookshelf tab in the top left corner to take me back to the main landing page. Next, let's look at the companion website. The companion website can be accessed from within the toolbar of the student textbook or from within the pages of the textbook by the activity icon. The companion website can also be accessed from the main landing page here. You can see the activities are divided by lessons. I encourage you to explore these interactive tools. Next, let's look at the student workbook and lab manual. Once again, it is divided by lessons and by chapters. I'll click on the lab investigation 1.1 Analyzing Body Movements. In this format, I can zoom in, zoom out. I can go to another chapter of the student workbook and lab manual, click again to close. Now the fourth button down or the resource tab is gonna allow me to see the workbook and lab manual with form fields so that students can type directly into the pages and submit digitally. Before I click on that, I do want to point out that you can print pages of the workbook and lab manual for students. Let's click on workbook and lab manual with form fields. Now students will be able to type directly in the pages. I'll click on this lab investigation 1.1 analyzing body movements. 
As you can see, students can type directly into the form fields and submit digitally. Next, let's look at the resources available for teachers as well. Once again, click the online instructor resource suite. Teachers, you will also have access to the instructor's edition and the online instructor resources. I'll click the online instructor resources. You'll see three gray tabs. The first one, resource material. This will provide you information on best practices and rubrics as well. Next, chapter resources. Teachers, this is where you'll go most often to plan and facilitate your course. Let's click on chapter one. Here you'll find textbook answer keys, workbook answer keys, instructor resource answer keys, lesson plan, additional handouts, and a PowerPoint presentation that you can edit. I'll minimize this gray tab. Next, assessment software and question pool. This is the software that's needed in order to create and customize exams. Now is the time to update your anatomy and physiology curriculum. We offer print resources, digital resources, and bundle for those districts who prefer print and digital resources for students. We integrate with learning management systems, offer rostering implementation options, and teachers can post to other platforms such as Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams. We offer easy, quick implementation, training, professional development, and ongoing support. If you do not already have access to our online platform, first, contact your GW Educational Consultant today. Second, schedule a 60-day free preview and try the resources in your own classroom. Third, choose GW, select implementation and training dates, and you are ready to get started. Let's work together to build careers.